So we're going to make like a storage container here for our little tank. I'm going to make a box. Zoom out. And make sure Edged Faces is on. I'm going to give this a few uh, pieces across it. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. And um, I'll give it one there. I'm going to go to Modify and convert this to an editable poly. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to select through my box and select these two bands. I'm going to bevel them on local normal so that they go out in all directions equally. And I'm going to make the height about there. The outline amount is going to be zero. And I think that'll work. And I'm going to select straight across here now. And I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, first I'm going to straighten this out. Let's go back to how to straighten this. See how this is bowed out a little bit? You can see it there. What I'm going to do is grab these vertices across the top. We've done this before. And I'm going to scale them back into each other and straighten this out. This happens um, because of the way the bevel modifier works, or bevel function, I should say. Zoom out a little more. And um, sometimes you just got to do some housekeeping here and clean these up. So there we go. Our box now is nice and straight, as you can tell. I think that's pretty straight. Now I'm going to select these polygons across the top. And I got the bottom because I selected through. I'm going to put another bevel on that. And I'm going to say OK. So now I've got this kind of complex looking object here. And I'm going to delete the whole top of this off. So I've selected through the whole thing. I'm now holding down Alt, dragging to deselect everything except for just the top. And I'm going to hit Delete. Now the first thing we see if we wanted to make a box is that the inside of this is hollow. In fact, we're seeing through the other side even because it's, it's hollow. I'm going to hit G and turn off the grid here again. And the second thing we notice is I've got some bent sides I need to straighten up real quick. So right here, I need to straighten these guys up. It always bugs me when they're not nice and straight. There we go. And uh, there we go. I'm also going to grab all these guys on the top, and I'm going to totally flatten them down. And you'll see why here in a second. We're just going to flatten these all down into themselves. So I'm dragging the mouse down towards me on the mouse pad as I hold down the left mouse button on this one axis. And that's going to flatten them all down. So I've held down the left mouse button. I'm holding it down as I pull the mouse towards me. And only these vertices here are selected, and that's flattened it out. Okay. Now, I want this to be have an inside, too. I like the outside, but I want it to have an inside, like a box would. Turn off our sub-object. The way we do that is we go to this modifier called Shell. And now you can see it's applied a duplicate of the outside on the inside. Flip the normals, and that's called a Shell. And... or vice versa. I never gave it any thought. I don't know if it made an inside or it made an outside, but either way. Um, I can control the inner amounts and the outer amounts using these buttons right here. So I've given it a little edge there, and now we have like a storage container or a storage piece that we can use on our, on our tank if we want to. So that shell it works in all sorts of different circumstances, so give it a try, and just remember that it's there. It's a helpful little modifier um, for making bits and pieces to your tank that you may want to use later.